was it for the new Tyne Castle tomorrow? It's been an intimidating place before, obviously, but with this new stand, will that you know, make any difference? I don't know. It's a game of football, isn't it? So um, it's obviously great that you see stadiums getting improved, but you know it's what happens on the pitch, isn't it? Really, and as long as we can um, keep the atmosphere quiet, being the away team, that's a, that's our aim. Yeah, but no, I can't. It depends how the game goes, really. But I, I think if we go out and perform the way we can, I think um, we'll get something from the game. And it was two one last time out here at Dane. It's a great performance that day to outclass perhaps and get the three points. Do you know what I thought? First half we were, we were a better team. I thought second half they came into it. Um, and th listen, I I also don't forget that the goal came from a mistake from us. So. As much as they were good second half, I, I did feel we were the better team on the day um, over the 90 minutes and I think we deserve to win, but listen, Hearts at Tynecastle is a different game. Um, they, were really good on, they were really good in parts of the game on Saturday, they showed a little bit of everything, they showed um, a lot of desire and a lot of resilience and then they had a, that bit of quality which, excuse me, which led to their goal, so um, they've obviously shown it. Um, Good form to obviously get the, the win on Saturday. There's been a lot of good form also at Danes with the win against Rangers, the win against Ross County. There really a lot against Aberdeen on Friday. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. I think we've been playing well. I think um I think our performance levels are good and as I've said to the written press, um if your if your performances are, are of a consistent nature, the results will follow. I think um Aberdeen are a really, really good side and they've they've notoriously beaten Dundee over the last two years. Um in terms of the consistency of their results against us. So I think we've gone toe to toe with them this year twice and we've been unlucky to come off twice with two losses but um we can take confidence from our performance in the game and like you and like you said, our performances in the last four or five games have been excellent and I think if we keep having a consistency of performance I think the results will come, which they have done obviously with the Rangers in the Ross County game. Derek McKinnon said after the match that he made uh, certain changes to his team to try and nullify some of your players. You must take that as a bit of a compliment. Yeah, I think the players should as well. I think uh, if, if, if any manager is willing to sacrifice one of their players to nullify someone else, it's a compliment. I think that's that's Derek. You know, he's vigilant in what he does. I think, listen, we've done it as well. We've, we, we have, you have to sacrifice something and to, uh, you know, counter a positive from another team. But... Yeah, I think I think we've a lot of young players at the minute that are you know people need to watch and uh, people are watching and um, that are, the level of performance from them is really good and they would worry you when you come in to play against them but I think um, I think Derek is, is is clever in how he manages his team and then he set them up in the second half to nullify their good players but ultimately it led to them winning so it was it was a good thing for him to do. And then Hearts tomorrow night and then two games in the next week or so that you would. Try and get some target to get some points from. Yeah, I think we target. I think we target points from all our games because of the way we're playing. I don't. Um, I said to the manager the other day, there's not many. I feel the players feel we back them, and I said we go toe to toe with any team, and I don't mean that in a in a cocky way. I just think with the way we're playing and the consistency of performance. That we know we're going to get from them, and they and they will. They, they work for each other. They work really, really hard for each other. We work really hard on how we play, and we are we have a lot of energy in our team. So I always say to them, you're not going to get that energy back. So you might as well use on a match day, and that's what they do. And um, in terms of targeting points from games, I think you just have to target points from your next game. Whatever's coming down the line will come down the line because you never know how. What happens tomorrow night against Hearts? You might come off with certain injuries and stuff, and things happen in games. So, um, I wouldn't be looking too far ahead. I think we look at what's coming tomorrow. And if we look back to that Hearts game, I think you won with two goals from corners. Is that something that you've thought about and uh, concentrated on this week? Eh, uh, not particularly. We didn't have really all week to concentrate on it because we played Friday, we were in Sunday, we were in today. So, um. We just feel if you get good delivery on the ball, we've we've enough attacking threats to, to, to nick us a goal from a set piece, which which adds to our, our arsenal really. We we have we're very dynamic in, in through the middle of our pitch with energy and young players, so but obviously Kerr Wadden scores two against Hearts and um out here and the two great headers, but we've a lot of big lads in the team, you know, we've we've uh, Jack Henry, Darren O'Dee, Josh Meekins, Mark O'Hara, Musa, Haber. 
we have, we have a big team, um, Holty as well. So we, we we're a big team, um, maybe maybe we should go more direct. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's, it's not, I think once the delivery's on it and we're, and we're aggressive in the box in both boxes, we have a chance. That extra day's rest is likely to play a part. Okay. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it plays a part. But listen, Hearts have a great facility down where they are. They're probably in training indoors when when we're up here outdoors training. So it's all relative, isn't it? Just wondering, looking back at the game against the Dons, three days on, what are your thoughts on that game? Um, I felt it was a quite even game. Uh, to be honest, I felt there was part of the game we done really, really well, and there was part of the game they done really well. I thought um, they pressed us well to stop us starting the game and stop us playing out. Uh, and then, but when we got it in open play in terms of our keeper catching it instead of going out for a goal kick, we were able to get out and play. Um, they obviously changed the nullify bits that we done, and then when we went to a three in midfield, a released um, a released Paul McGowan at the top end of the pitch, and then they had to change and they put a centre back in to, to nullify that. So um, I think our full backs then played a part in, in getting into the game, and, and John John Ardenetti made some great runs in the second half, and um, Cami Kerr got up down his side. So I think. I think they counter-attacked us a little bit well in the second half and played into that space in between our, our back four and ran on from it. But like I said to you, I thought it was a pretty even game from two two really good teams. Um, I think I think Aberdeen, top end of the pitch, are really, really exciting. I think Christy, Mc, uh, McLean and Shinny were excellent for them um, on the night. But I also thought we were, we were really good in, in terms of like Glenn Kamara and Scott Yallam when he came on. Uh, big Musa held the ball up really well in the link of play. So I think it was a real, it was a good, it was a good sort of tactical battle at times, but it was also a lot of energy and power in the game. And it was, it was I thought it was good advertising for Scottish football, if I do say so myself. I thought it was really good to watch, having watched the back. <laughs> you had to be playing against Hearts at the earlier this season. Um, do you feel that you feel confident going into the game tomorrow night? You can have a similar victory. Um, I feel, and the manager feels especially, and I, and we want the players to feel it that. We go anywhere with this group at the minute, you know. We're, we're really happy with them. There is a great togetherness in them. Um, there's a great spirit in them, and there's a, a lot of energy in them. And when you have that youthful energy in your side, you know that you know they're gonna empty it for you every game. So we talked about raising the minimum performance levels when we came in. That we know what we're gonna get from them every every game in terms of their application, and and I think that's come. I think that's come in the last probably six weeks so we know we've we've tightened up a lot at the back we're, we're a lot more resilient we're, we're very adaptable as you've seen on, on friday night we changed system uh probably three times in the game but people probably noticed two yeah so yeah I'm, I'm confident going anywhere going away from home to hearts i'd be uh, we're confident that we're going to print a performance and i think if we perform the way we can i think it, it could lead to a victory and well and we hope it leads to a victory, but I think the players need to believe that more than us. I think they need to take confidence from their performance levels and know that when they play to their maximum of flat out, they give anyone a game. Let me tell you. No, everybody's fit, everybody's good, everybody's healthy, um, which is great considering it was such a competitive game on Friday. So there's obviously, they, they had their knocks and their bumps that they got over Saturday, Sunday, but um, for such a competitive game, we were happy to, to come out unscathed. Um, so everybody's fit, everybody's ready to go. I mean, Marcus missed the game with a back problem. Marcus had a back spasm, right. which um, has has obviously through medication has has been able to be released through our physio, which is which is great. So he comes back into contention as well. Looks like Josh McKean's a tired hamstring at one point. Is he? Yeah, he Josh is okay. Josh trained today. We um, Josh, we, we listen. We. We have to be careful with Josh because he's been he's been out such a long time. So, um, but listen, he's been available for us the last two months. So, he's and he's been excellent. Um, so he just has to be careful that when he fe he's obviously feeling different things at certain times. But there was no major muscle injury at all. I think that might have been a little spasm as well. So now he trained this morning, one hundred percent. Cold mid midweek winter games like tomorrow night at Tancastle are built in to facilitate the winter break. Do you feel that that's a good trade 
for clubs like Dundee to give the players a break in January altogether? To be honest, I had I was thinking of this question on the way up actually because I remember playing here and the winter snap hit hit at the end of January, February, and there was we had I think we went four to six weeks without a game. I remember taking a picture and it was minus seventeen at one stage up in up in Perth. And I was, I've never seen I've never seen it that cold. So you never know when it's gonna hit and a winter break is great but you can't predict the weather, you know, and I think um the snap has hit obviously the cold snap has hit in the last three or four days. It might be really good in the January that we're off. So it's a hard it's hard to predict it, it's hard to get out in front of the weather, I think so I think it does I think I just think it highlights the fact that you might need facilities, you know, and then, um, and that's that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> I have one last question, if that's yeah. okay. Um, is Scott Allen close to a return to the starting eleven? Do you think? Well, Scott's come on in the last three games, so, um, and he's come on and made an impact in them. I think obviously you've seen the Rangers game; he made an impact in. He comes on and helps set up the second goal against Ross County, which is he actually wins the ball back. And then he came on against Aberdeen and, and, and probed and tried to get us back into the game. So he's close, yeah.